the young and the restless spoilage for the next two weeks, April 11th to the 22nd, revealed that in the near future, Jack may face risk, but he can handle everything well. He was shocked to see Diane in Kimo's house, even trying to approach Allie, so he gave her a warning. He doesn't want to hear his niece, not even anyone in the Abbott family. However, in the end, Diane was still ignoring Jack's warnings because the ultimate goal of her return is to mend her relationship with her son, Kyle. And she even hoped for his support, but Jack won't accept that because he understands how the trauma she has left affects Kyle's life. This episode airs on April 11th, but Ray's decision will change his life in a big way. Besides, fans are also looking forward to Tessa and Mariah's wedding to take place. However, even though he is a supporter for the wedding, he still couldn't get along with everything. Jack hopes Diane doesn't take things too far, so stop before he does something. What has he been through all this time, even letting people believe that she is dead? Stay tuned for the latest details in the upcoming episodes here. Ray can't seem to connect with the relationships around. In the episode that airs on April 11th, he and even Sharon will be surprised to receive an important news. It seems to be related to Tessa and Mariah's wedding, as they have official announcements about it. And according to various information on May 13th, the anticipated wedding will take place. They don't want to delay things any further, because after that, the problems are also solved. They have fully prepared everything for the wedding, and hope they won't be any problems. Ray and Sharon will also help them with their preparations, but things don't seem to be going very well. Ray feels that she cannot enter Sharon's life, even though the two of them are husband and wife, but in the end, driving them further and more apart, and more attracted to Chelsea, will he betray Sharon? Fans to let Chelsea and Ray have grown close, and he even has a good relationship with her son Connor. However, it's sad that Ray will soon be leaving the TV series in the future. What will be the way out of the, for this character? Will he have to in hurry to Miami to solve family problems, or will he have to go somewhere else? And there's a lot of speculation that he might have been murdered, but that's not good if the scriptwriters wants to bring him back. So if he wasn't there to support Tessa and Mariah's wedding, Sharon wouldn't be upset. Whether this marriage can be kept in the face of the coming storms or not, the fact that Adam became the CEO of Newman Lock and angered Ashlyn. And even when Victorious let him continue the Adam that was looking for causing for trouble, meanwhile, Billy continues to worry about Victoria's safety as she wants to solve Ashlyn's problems on her own. Meanwhile, Emma will want to repair something romantic for Nate. However, things turn into a mess. Besides, what will happen with Nate and Elena will officially become Devin and Adam's neighbors. Stay tuned for all the answers.